Hi guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and we have some big news and breaking news. The S&P 500 jumps to within 1% of record as Trump tweets plan for extended meeting with the president of China. Look at this. This is the breaking news right now, and the market is on fire, okay? The Federal Reserve's policy setting meeting is set to start later this morning. President Trump tweeted that he had a very good telephone conversation with President Xi Jinping. ECB President Mario Draghi set the stage for a rally in stocks after hinting at further Eurozone stimulus. Facebook officially launches its four-way foray into cryptocurrencies, the Libra coin. Those are the heading of the big news that is happening right now. And let's get into this. U.S. stock indexes headed sharply higher midday Tuesday, pushing the broad market S&P 500 to within 1% of a closing record. We're almost at a record high, folks. As President Donald Trump tweeted that had a productive conversation with Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. How are benchmarks faring? The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 1.25%, rose 330 points or 1.3% at 26,444. The S&P 500 Index, SPX, is up 1.06%, advanced 31%, 31 points or 1.1% 1 .1 at 2,920, while the NASDAQ Composite Set Index, COMP, is up 1.5%, climbed 121 points or 1.6% 1 at 7,966. The day's gains put the S&P 500 about 0.9% from its April 30 closing record. The Dow was about 1.4% from its October 3rd peak, while the Nasdaq was just a little over 2% from its May 3rd closing record, according to fact set data. What's driving the market? U.S. President Donald Trump on Tuesday said over Twitter, I gotta love Twitter, and Twitter's up too, by the way, that there will be an extended meeting with President Xi Jinping of China at the group of 20 meetings in Japan. Reports from Bloomberg News also confirmed a plan for the two leaders to meet on the sidelines of the gathering of developed global leaders. The tweet comes after U.S.-Chinese trade talks had stalled and there have been doubt over whether an additional 25% tariff or more than $300 billion in Chinese goods would go into effect soon, further escalating the protracted Sino-American trade confrontation, which has hobbled global markets. Equity indexes were already buoyant after ECB President Mario Draghi at an annual central bank conference in Sintra, Portugal, hey, Portugal, said policymakers would consider in the coming weeks how to adapt its policy tools. Commensurate to the severity of the risk to the economic outlook, a signal that the central bank may be willing to lower rates. The central banker's remarks sent the euro down, sliding against the U.S. dollar. Draghi's comments come as the Federal Reserve kicks off its policy setting Tuesday with expectation that policymakers will indicate a willingness to reduce benchmark borrowing costs this year amid global trade tensions, a slowdown in the global economy, as well as in the U.S. investors' desire to see if those expectations match up to what the Fed is thinking, though no move on interest rates is expected as this week's meeting. What are strategists saying? The prospects of additional stimulus jolted stock markets higher, and it appears the ECB is following in the Fed's footsteps of using dovish language, wrote David Madden, market analyst at CMC Market UK, in a Tuesday research note. And his comments will add further pressure on the U.S. Federal Reserve to cut rates following his speech yields on a 10-year bond headed I think that's bond, headed further into negative territory to around 30 BPS, forcing people's hunt for yield to continue apace. Mark Benbow, manager of the Kames Short Dated Yield Bond Fund, said in a note, in the if the Fed doesn't appear sufficiently dovish, including taking the word patient out of their statement, or the G20 meeting doesn't result in a significant progress in the trade war with China, then the market could experience a sharp pullback, wrote Chris Zaccarelli, Chief Investment Officer for Independent Advisor Alliance, in a Tuesday research note. 
So that's the news. This is good news for the markets. The markets are exploding on the news that this trade war might be coming to an end and that President Trump is close. Having a very good telephone conversation with President Xi Jinping. Let's hope they get a deal done so that the markets continue to blow because we need it. We love it when the markets are green because that's how we get paid. Okay, now let's take a look at Market Watch real quick. There we go. Dow Jones up 321 points and in the green. S&P 500 up 30 points or 1%. The NASDAQ up 118 points or 1.5%. Global Dow up 1.19% or 35 and a half points. Gold is rising, folks. 1,350 for gold up 8 points or 0.6%. And oil is rising. Everything is green up 1.85% or sorry, 1.85 points or 3.54%. Once again, the S&P 500 jumps to within 1% of record highs as Trump tweets plan for extended meeting with China's President XI. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, bringing you the news, and I'm out. Peace.